I didn't have an exercise science degree, a medical degree, and 20 years of intensive self-study, I would personally believe you. But what you're telling people is <laughs> and it's not safe. Oh, look, yeah. Yeah. Okay, things went off the rails extremely fast. Hi, I'm Chris James, and you're watching Healthy Alternative. Today, we're going to be reacting to when Cole Robinson went on The Doctors. Over here at AHA, we lovingly call him the snake diet guy. So um, I don't watch a lot of Cole's content. I've seen it here and there. I think what he's doing is amazing. People try to say that I'm biting him all the time, which I think is funny, uh, especially because he's the snake. But the, the reality is when you teach fasting, and you learn by observation, you, you come to similar conclusions. And I think that's why our content uh, sometimes seems to be similar. Uh, but anyway, let's get into this review. Can eating like a snake help you tip the scales? Well, our next guest claims his extreme reptilian inspired diet is a surefire way to lose that extra weight. Take a look at this. Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty! Before doing anything I say, go consult your local drug dealing doctor and make sure it's okay. But the end! The snake diet is a prolonged fasting focused lifestyle. You fast as long as you can. Not hours, but days, weeks, and months. If you're fat, you don't need to eat, drink water, and salt. You don't need anything more than that. It's that simple. You don't want to have to eat. Here's how it's done. Prolong snake juice fast until you have ripped abs. Took me 10 days. And lastly, weigh yourself every day. It keeps you accountable. Fast longer and eat less. Don't be a crybaby and get that fat in you. Okay, so first of all, I love the trailer. Um, that is him. They are portraying him in his true light. He is extremely rough around the edges. A lot of people need that that kick in the pants. So some people are turned off by his demeanor and how he calls people fat and all that stuff. But I think it's funny. I think it's entertainment. And I think that's one of the reasons why he has a strong following. Now, obviously, I'm in perfect agreement with, you know, fasting for long durations of time. We're, we're on that same page. And I think it's funny that he said as his, as his uh, public service announcement or you know, his legal description, he said, uh, make sure to consult your drug dealing doctor, which uh, sounds abrasive at first until you really think about like, that's what they do. They are drug dealers. <laughs> like they literally are drug dealers. So uh, let's keep going. Cole Robinson, the creator of the snake diet, joins us on Skype from Alberta, Canada. Hmm. Cole, so what's the concept behind the snake diet? So essentially, it's a prolonged fasting-focused lifestyle, and you fast as long as you can when you're fat because fat people don't need to eat any food because they got more calories than they could ever use in, like, weeks on their gut, okay? People got to understand that body fat is food, and then what they do is they drink the salt water as they fast because it keeps your electrolytes up, and then you feel good, and you can fast for days, weeks, months. So people have been fasting for hundreds of thousands of years, right? But most times people are fasting on plain water. Right. As soon as you add that salt, you can go a long time. Like I got a guy I'm coaching right now that was like 350 pounds and he's down probably almost 50 pounds in the month. Oh, and he does jujitsu and everything. And he's eating like one meal every seven days. Cause you got so many minerals on your body fat. People just don't understand that their fat is fuel. And the only way to harness that is by keeping your insulin levels so low that you're just gonna burn pure body fat. You can't be eating all damn day like the mainstream tells you to. And you also say that- All right, so, uh, <clears throat> he actually didn't say anything wrong. I don't agree with uh, taking salt in the water. And that that is where he and I do this. Uh, but that's one of the only points where we, we kind of part ways. The reason why I don't, promote the the salt is because it, you know typically if you're going to be doing long fasting like that and you're going to be taking salt um you're going to increase the likelihood of having loose skin so i'm sure this is a five-year-old video so i'm sure whoever he was coaching probably had loose skin you know it's as common in his group that we see people with loose skin now does it make it the fast easier yes i just did an interview with one of our members who um, 
has lost almost 200 pounds in a year, okay? And uh, he doesn't do any salt in his water. We have different things we teach. So it's not like if you don't take the salt or his, his snake juice, it's not like you can't get the results. You know, there's, there's more than one way to peel an avocado, as Coach Mel says. You can cure certain diseases or conditions. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so one of the girls, actually, she's uh, one of the people that was helping me coach on my big Facebook group. And she had a prolactinoma brain tumor. And basically, I got her dry fasting. I had her on a dry fasting routine where we we're doing probably at least a three to four day dry fast a week. And then on the off days, she would eat. Basically, we would refeed her because she was pretty lean. So in that routine, we couldn't just fast straight through because we had to keep some weight on her. So we would fast for three days in a row dry. And then we'd eat a meal a day for four days in a row, and we beat that. We melted that tumor down in two months. And I'm hurt. All right, so we don't we don't cure anything, okay? YouTube algorithm, we do not promote curing of any kind. Uh, I think that what he's talking about is the body being able to reduce and and basically do what it does if the body created a tumor or cancer then the body has the ability to uh, eliminate it right so um, I agree with his protocol when we when we deal with people who have severe diseases um, dry fasting is a very good route to take okay uh, I think it's important to understand though she's working with a coach right someone who understands this if you're watching, you might think, oh, you know, I have this thing, this disease I want to re rectify. Let me dry fast. But remember, he, he coached her, so he, ha he had her on a regimen to help keep her weight up. Because dry fasting, you lose so much weight so fast. I used to dry fast. Um, there, was a, there was a period of time where I, I dry fasted regularly just to learn dry fasting. And I remember at one point I lost like, ugh, I think it was 20 pounds in like three or four days. Okay. And the crazy thing about dry fasting is that you can lose the weight so extremely fast, um, but it's super. It's a super powerful technique. That's why he was able to get results so quickly. So it's important to monitor your weight. If you have excess body fat, you can you can fast, right? But she didn't have that, so they added food um, to help keep her weight up, which was wise. No, and, no, and no, I, Cole, you and, did not no, help that I, tumor I, down. And That's also, not what happened. That that would defy science. That would defy I, well, thousands well, of years of, of medicine and, and also, medical you, thinking. You also said you can whole, cure herpes, the herpes virus, correct? Yeah, so what happened, basically, as far as herpes goes, I had herpes. So what happened is I started actually, I told people that I beat the herpes because I basically did a five-day dry fast, never had one symptom. Okay, after this, and then I had a whole bunch of people getting a hold of me, a bunch of women, they wouldn't come out about it. Like, basically, the whole population's got HSV 1 or 2, to be honest with you. No, well, I say, you're, like, you're confident, you're well spoken, you're charismatic. If I didn't have an exercise science degree, a medical degree, and 20 years of intensive self study, I would personally believe you. But what you're telling people so is, and it's not safe. Well, yeah, well, 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 Okay, things went off the rails extremely fast. That was just a snippet or a clip, I suppose, of the full interview. But you could see they were setting him up. Here's the thing. The girl said, Cole, you claim you can cure X, Y, Z. He didn't correct them. He should have corrected them be like, we don't cure anything, okay? The only thing that can heal the body is the body itself. The goal is to give the body the resources it needs to do that work. However, um, it looked like they was about to start going in on him and basically calling him a, a scam artist. Here's I, I don't understand how people are able to just completely throw away anecdotal evidence. It really bothers me personally. And not because that's one of my main forms of evidence, but because it's like, why would you throw away your own personal experience to lean on a medical degree or the opinion of somebody else? Anyway... I thought this was good. Um, I think that one thing that I really appreciate about um, Snake Diet Guy is how brash and how open he is and how genuine he is. He doesn't he doesn't beat around the bush. He just says it. He gives it to you straight, no chase. 
I appreciate that. And um, I hope that I hope that people are interested. Maybe, you know, I think he gives a different perspective to fasting than I do. And you may learn something. So anyway, that's all I got. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge of power. And I'll see you all next time.